With us now is Tess. How have you been? Great. Last time I saw you, we were on the country music cruise. Yes, we were on the country music cruise. And since then, I've learned so much actually about you. I didn't get a chance to visit with you much. We were both having ice cream. We were talking about how good the food was yeah. and, you know, things like that. We're talking about songwriting. Um, you have a very special connection to Dottie West, and we are here in honor of that. Can you tell us a little bit about your connection? Oh my goodness. Well, Dottie West was my grandmother, so her only daughter, singer Shelly West, is my mother. And then you married a Frizzell. Because a lot of times, because you're, right, I know. I know. Listen, I do not even expect everyone to figure out this family tree. But I kind of got it. But your mother, mother married a Frizzell. Married a Frizzell. Correct. That's and right. that's how you got to have like two that's families true. in country that's music. The Frizzell and the yeah, West. That's how you have it. Um, but Dottie West, people loved her. Did you get a chance to meet her? Like, were you a little girl? And I saw a picture of you when you were a baby. And Yes. Oh, my gosh. I have a lot of really sweet memories. Um, you know, I was almost 10 years old when she passed away tragically from a car accident. And um, But I have a lot of memories of her just basically spoiling the heck out of me. <laughs> yeah. She, it seemed to me like I, you know, did some research, too, and she, she had a tradition in her family, like sometimes for the holidays, they would get like a brown paper bag and maybe an apple. Yes. And then through the years, yeah. she would gift people things in a brown paper bag. Yes. I, I wish I would have met her. She seems like my kind of angel. She was so warm and charismatic to where, you know, if you had you didn't know her, didn't even know she was famous, and you were in the room with her, her presence just like radiated, you know, just very magnetic, very warm, and so giving. So along with that little story about the brown paper sack, yeah, she grew up in very, very humble uh, beginnings in McMinnville, Tennessee, picked cotton, oldest of 10 kids, and, you know, when she really made it, she pretty much dedicated her life to generously giving back to people. And one time she had all of that family come home uh, from McMinnville uh, to her house in Brentwood, and she passed out brown paper sacks, and all of them had that apple with a $100 bill in them. <laughs> she was just generous, yes. right? She just loved being, and she loved singing. And uh, a, a lot of songs you're, you're going to be performing tonight, right? So tell us about tonight, because tonight's a celebration of her life. Oh my goodness, this night is just all wrapped up totally her because it's great music and a fun party. That's very her. <laughs> um, and also, you know, honoring musicians who sometimes get overlooked and uh, without the musicians, oh my gosh, you know, where would the music be? You have to have the musicians. So, um, and then also giving back, so the charity. So it's all totally her and it just, you know, I, we miss her, of course, but it really makes me feel so good on nights like tonight that her legacy lives on when we have things like this. It does 100%. And I love the story, too, about how she had, like, you know, Willie Nelson over, and she would make them dinner, so she was a great cook. Now, I know you're a great artist. Are you also a great cook? Oh, you caught me. <laughs> you caught me on my one. <laughs> No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really say I'm a great cook, <laughs> um, but you know, we all have our, <laughs> exactly, something you could, you could try, right, you could try. Um, I mean, I won't burn a kitchen down. Okay, but you don't cook as great as your grandmother. No, no. And uh, tell us about your new song, Tess. Oh, gosh. So my newest release is called The Wrong One, and it has this most special story behind it. So, you know, as many people know, my grandmother was a songwriter, really, at the heart of it. You know, her first major award winning the Grammy um, was on a song that she co-wrote with my granddad. So she was a songwriter. And through the years, she kept notebooks and notebooks of just little song ideas. And so we took one finished writing the song. I'm literally a co-writer with my grandmother on this song. So it's 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 a new release for me, but it's new music for her. I love it. Oh, I just got chills. Yeah. And Tess, you know what? That's still cooking, right? It's still like, you know, yeah. and I'm saying the words could be the ingredients of yes. your recipe. I love how you spun that. <laughs> there you go. So thank you so much for joining us. Have fun tonight. Thank you and, so much. And blessings to you beyond blessings. Aww, thank you so much. So it's much. nice to see you in the three dimension too. I so know. happy journeys to all of you. Stay tuned. We're living it up right here. I to go with love.